Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at the Strat Casino and Hotel on Las Vegas Strip, inside Remix Lounge, for another night of awesome local music at House of Ours Homegrown Songwriter Showcase. If you're new here, welcome! Hope you like what you see, and feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell while you're at it so you don't miss out on any future videos and live streams. Speaking of live streams, I also live streamed the showcase that I'm talking about and have included the link to that in this video's description. Also feel free to check it out once you're done watching this one. Now then, who wants to go listen to some great music and maybe do some gambling? Pro tip, make sure you leave gas money in the glove compartment so you don't have to walk home, you loser. <laughs> The show was started off with an introduction by Hal Savar, and then the first performer of the night and recent guest on the channel was Russ Lacasse. During a stint in Nashville, Russ's songwriting actually earned him two Grammy recommendations. Besides writing music for other people, he also creates songs that combine southern charm with country and western sensibilities. Uh, it was a nice way to open the show and set the stage perfectly for the next act. That would be another recent friend of the channel. Johnny Fab! Sporting a sport coat and exuding his usual cool lounge act vibe, Johnny treated the crowd to piano-based music that was upbeat and told stories both humorous and touching. Keep an eye out for his upcoming interview on the channel. We had a great time. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or a social media link in the description. It's also where you can score some sweet merch like this or become a Patreon supporter for patron-only content. Following after Johnny was Quinn Turner, who, at time of recording, I'll be interviewing tomorrow. Quinn's songwriting is very uplifting and focuses on bringing love to everyone. It's a nice change of pace from life's complications, and I'm always glad to hear music like that. Up next was Carl John, whose interview you can watch here. Not yet. Finish this one first, silly. Carl specializes in storytelling based on his own transformation's journey through life and some of its challenges. His music evokes imagery and memories that take the listener to what he's singing about. It's a lesson many songwriters could stand to remember, myself included. The first pairing of the evening was Next, featuring Chalmer Harper and his friend Chris Massa helping out on electric guitar. As usual, Chalmer's voice rang out strong and clear with passion, while Chris made the songs even more intricate and interesting than usual. A great pair of musicians to be sure. Another pair followed in the shape of Jan Jan and James. This time James played guitar, supporting Jan's singing and her own ukulele performance. With lyrics that flow like water over smooth stones, the duo combined elements of pop with world beat or reggae to make music that was easily listened to and enjoyed. I'm looking forward to their interview and performance, hopefully happening sometime soon. Now it was time for the host to remind everyone why he's the host. Hal was joined on stage for a few songs by some members of a future Room 6 alumni, Intuitive Soul, and recent friend of the channel, and the person who saved my butt on the last live stream. thanks, Aubrey Digital. All great musicians in their own right, the band did a great job backing up Hal as he performed some of his fun and emotion-filled songs, all while belting out the lyrics in his powerhouse way. It's always amazing to see the room light up when they play. Following Hal and the gang, new band name, was longtime friend of the channel and awesome songwriter Scotty Dove. Scotty just recently got officially endorsed by Chiba Hut, where many shows I've reviewed on this channel have been held. His music always sets a chill party vibe while the lyrics tell the story of heartbreak, love, and other relatable topics. Up next was Cameron Paul, who sang exclusively to tracks. I'd love to hear him with a band someday, just to hear the difference in dynamics. Cameron always does a great job conveying passion and romance without being too over the top. Where Scotty Dub sets the mood for a party, Cameron sets the mood for a different kind of party. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. As if that wasn't enough to fire up the audience, Cameron invited Dark Iris on stage to perform an unreleased track that uh, they just finished and will be coming out soon. They ratcheted up the get it on vibe to 11 and set the bar high for the next act. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. Fortunately, the next act was Bridget Riley. 
dazzling everyone with her red sequined outfit before dazzling everyone with her vocals and production quality. Also, performing to tracks, her music grabbed the torch from Cameron and Dark Iris and proceeded to burn the place down. With driving backbeats and lilting vocals that added to the Jessica Rabbit vibe her outfit was putting out. Switching things back over to the guitar side, David Wax was next on stage. Grabbing a bar stool and playing his usual amazing chord progressions while singing songs about life and love, David embodies the singer-songwriter ethos and is always a joy to watch perform. If the previous acts lit a torch and burned the place down, Cat Calling and her backing band were there to dance in the embers and start up some new flames. Somehow, filling the floor with people the second they started playing, Cat was a whirlwind on stage, and her voice soared over the music as her songs told of heartache and self-confidence, all while sounding like the newest hit on the radio. I'm honestly surprised her music's not already huge. Following the tornado that was Cat Calling in her band was the tough job of Krista Kidd, and she did a great job. Taking her perch on the bar stool left open by David Wax, Krista brought some introspection to the night with songs that touched the heart and brought back memories often hidden away. It was powerful and emotional, and I'm glad I had a whiskey with me. Like everyone else that performed, it was great songwriting because it came from the heart. Finishing up the night was Hal and the band with more of his trademark stories and a display of musical talent that wrapped things up nicely. I'm looking forward to the next one, and I hope you'll join us either in person or on the live stream, Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. See you there! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you checked out the live stream, I hope you enjoyed that too. Um, feel free to join us next time. Whether if, if you're local, it's at the Strat, Remix Lounge, you know where it is. It's the biggest freaking thing on the landscape. But if you can't make it there, please consider joining the live stream. Um, best way to find out about that, of course, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Oh, by the way, like I said earlier, I've got merch, room6.shop, and it's on sale. Hey.